I have nothing to wear. I have no shoes to wear. I totally understand where you're coming from, especially when it comes to the ankle boots. How to wear ankle boots is something that most of us struggle with, and I used to be one of them until I figured out this one trick that really works. And the trick is you need to turn that unflattering horizontal line into a vertical line that lengthens. Hope I don't sound like your high school geometry teacher. What I'm about to show you works magic on every pair, and it comes after years of trial and error. I live in a colder area. Our fall starts in October. That is our booty season. So it's natural for me to want to always wear ankle boots. They seem to be easy. Over the years, what I've discovered is ankle boots is actually one of the hardest things to wear. And here's the reason. Ankle boots end above your ankles. That is a very awkward length. It's because it forms a horizontal line. The horizontal line is not flattering, no matter your height and your body shape. If you have a nerdy side like me, I wanted to figure out how the horizontal line affects your body proportion, click on this video, how the rule of thirds is supposed to work, and how to apply that. First, let's look at what most of us struggle with. How to wear ankle boots with jeans. If your jeans is narrow leg, this is what most of us find it difficult to wear. If your jeans is either skinny leg or straight leg, it's critical that you find the right length in order to look good in ankle boots. What I've discovered, this is the best length that works with most of the ankle boots. It's about one to two inches above my ankle. And that is able to accommodate ankle boots for different shaft height. You can wear it with ankle boots with shorter shaft and you can wear it with higher shaft as well. If your skinny jeans is longer, now it's time to roll it up. If you're petite like me, then you need to be very careful about rolling up your jeans because it can create another horizontal line which is not flattering for women with shorter legs. So the best jeans to roll up and wear with the ankle boots have similar color inside and out. See, like this one, when I wrote it up, you don't really realize that horizontal line is not very obvious. If your jeans is like this, it looks a lot lighter inside. Then when you wrote it up, it forms a very obvious horizontal line. If you are tall, you probably don't care about it. This can work for you. But if you're shorter like myself, then this is not the most flattering. I would suggest you go with the shorter jeans Oh lord, since when had this gigantic coffin become a fashion? This only works with someone who is 5 foot 9 and who is so tired of having long legs. Yeah, in that case, this kind of coffin does serve the purpose because they chop off your leg. On an average girl, or if you are petite like me, absolute fashion disaster. Never try this. If you like this video so far, give me thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me thumbs down and let me know. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Don't miss my weekly videos on how to style for your height and how to style for your body shape. If you want to make your life easier, Buka jeans. Buka jeans are made for ankle boots. That's how they got the names. It flares out right under your knees, slightly. It can be wide enough to just accommodate a boot under. So when you wear buka jeans, there's nothing else you need to worry about. The jeans will just look perfect with booties. Or you can wear flare leg jeans. This is a very close cousin. Everything looks nice, clean, and crisp. You can also wear with white leg jeans. For the same reason, white leg jeans can also make it easier because they cover the shaft of your ankle boots. One thing is important when you do wear one of those jeans, you want to make sure your jeans are longer. 
Especially if you're petite like me and you want your legs to look longer, it's really important that your jeans are long enough to cover part of your heels. In fact, if you want to wear wide leg jeans with ankle boots, you probably want to try it on with your boots. That will make sure you choose the best length for the jeans. When your jeans covers part of your ankle boots, the eyes would assume the length of the jeans is the length of your legs. That is very flattering no matter your height. And it's especially critical if you are petite like myself. Now let's look at pants. If you have well tailored dress pants, the best ankle boots or the leather booties. Suede booties, the texture doesn't really go well with dress pants. The easiest way to wear dress pants with ankle boots wear flare leg. The leg shape is extremely flattering, especially if you're petite like me. Now, here's a challenging part. If you have a tailored pants tapered at the legs, like this one, it doesn't look very good because it bunches up too much. This is the hardest one to wear with ankle boots. See what happens here? You see a whole lot of uh, fabrics bunching up on your ankle. This is not flattering because it's too much fabrics and that makes your legs look even more cut off. So what you should do, I suggest you take it to the tailor and hem it for a couple of inches. So the ideal length is when you wear the narrow leg pants just a little bit above your ankle boots. You don't want it to be too short because this is dress pants. It's too short, it doesn't look very good either. You want it to be just right. That's why I suggest you bring your ankle boots when you go to the tailors so that you know exactly how long it should be. Colors of the ankle boots matter a lot. If you can only have one pair of ankle booties, then make it a black ankle boots. Most of us wear dark colored pants or dark colored dresses in the fall and the winter. The black booties are the most versatile that goes with most of your outfits. If your jeans are black, or dark wash, the easiest is to wear them with black ankle boots. But you can also wear it with suede nude booties. These ones are my favorites because it goes with everything. If your pants are black and your booties are black, that forms a vertical line that elongates your legs. And that's very flattering. Nude booties are the best ankle boots if you have lighter color pants or jeans. If your jeans is white, the best way is to wear with white booties or nude boots. It's much harder to wear white jeans with black booties or any other colors because they can look bottom heavy. This is something you definitely want to avoid. On a warmer day, I love to wear nude ankle booties bare legged with skirt outfit. It works with different skirt lengths midi, short skirts, doesn't matter because the ankle booties blend with the skin color. That gets rid of the horizontal line problem. You don't have to go with nude booties. Go with a shade that's closest to your skin tone. If your booties are black and your skirts are light color, it can be more tricky. You want to make sure your skirts or dresses are long enough to cover the shaft. This is so important. Because if you don't, the hem of the skirt is going to create yet another horizontal line which is very unflattering and make your legs look double cut off. When you wear black ankle boots in the winter, the best way is to wear it with black tights. That is the most leg elongating way because the tights and your black ankle boots will blend together and that will totally eliminate the horizontal line and will form a vertical line instead, which is extremely flattering, especially for anybody who wants their legs to look longer. Some of the trendy ankle booties in recent years, animal prints, they can't really make you look really chic, but I suggest you go with only a small dose of it. What that means is if your booties are animal prints, you probably want to make sure everything else is minimalist. Probably don't want to wear patterns or prints that's too busy for your top or the bottom. For instance, if your ankle booties are leopard prints, then they go pretty well with neutral colors like black or gray or brown or beige outfits. 
Another trend is the wide booties. These are super cute and they go the best with lighter color outfits. And they look the best when you wear them bare-legged if you are wearing skirts or dresses with wide booties. Or you can also wear wide booties with jeans and they look the best with lighter color denim. With ankle booties, because they already got the shaft, which is at awkward length, you want to reduce any other horizontal lines on the ankle booties. The combat boots are very much on trend. One of the hardest ankle boots to wear, especially if you are petite like me. If you do want to try the trend, then you want to make sure everything else is well fitted and you also want to make sure the combat boots are the same color as your jeans or your leggings. The key to make ankle booties flattering is to go with a pointed toe. This one inch of difference at the toe can really change the look of the entire outfit. If you're petite like me, this is my go-to toe shape, whether it's ankle booties or tall boots. The hardest to wear are ankle boots with square toes. If you're not used to pointed toe, then go with rounded toe. These are still better than square toe boots. If you walk a lot in the ankle boots, it's really important that you find the pair that won't hurt your feet. Because I used to walk a lot for my commute, 20 minutes every day, each way, my go-to boots are the wedge boots. So like this one. Just that they're wedges doesn't mean that they are very comfortable. The secret lies in one thing, the distance between here and here. So that's something you really need to pay attention to if you're looking for a comfortable pair of wedges or heels. Click on this video and walk you through exactly what you should be looking for in details in order to make sure the ankle boots won't hurt your feet.